How's it going? How's it going, folks? I just got done watching the Young Shelton show. And to be honest with you, I'm only a moderate fan of the Big Bang Theory. I watch it. It makes me laugh. Sometimes it makes me cringe a little bit. But overall, this new show, Young Shelton, was a total cringe fest. I honestly was only going to watch out the, fir the first episode and see how it was. And as I was right, it was. I was cringing most of the time. I didn't wait the characters. The whole show's banked on that the kid has the same demeanor as Jim Parsons. I don't know about that. I think, I mean, he does it. He does his acting job, and he's a little bit like Jim Parsons. But overall, I thought the show was totally cringy. Definitely not going to rewatch it. I think it's the show's main kind of focus group is people who watch TV on Monday that's not like sports but overall it was okay I think it was a little too nerdy for its own good and um, yeah I'm definitely not gonna come back like the whole thing is like set in like the the early wait I think it was 1989 and that's another problem with TV shows the whole 80s thing is getting drawn out like every show I think it started out with the Goldbergs, and now we got all these other shows that are set in the 80s. It, you know, I mean, I do like Stranger Things, but that's different because it's kind of science fiction. This is more of a sitcom, and ultimately, it was a long 30 minutes because I didn't laugh once. Like, when that happens, I can watch The Big Bang Theory and laugh because, you know, all the comic book puns and all that this was just like nerd puns and yeah it was it was a long 30 minutes it was like ugh, it just just dragged because you know I thought the little sister was cute and his brother was funny because he's like the, the brat but he the Shelton kid you know I just want to kick him square in the chest I know it sounds horrible but um I just couldn't, I just couldn't stand his character, and, uh, yeah, ultimately, it was just not a show I'm gonna rewatch, because I'm, like I said, I'm only a moderate Big Bang 3 fan, and, uh, yeah, like, like I said, it's that type of Monday show that it's gonna be piggybacking the watchers of Big Bang Theory, and, I don't know, like, some people might find it funny, people who, j who love Jim Parsons, He's not even my favorite character on The Big Bang Theory. Like, I, I can't stand his character. I like, actually, I like every other dude on that show but him. So, when it was over, I'm like, I'm going to be watching something else after Big Bang Theory because I uh, did not like it. Did not like it. It was not a show. It was, like, not even good as, like, Malcolm in the Middle, which was a well-done show that lasted a long time wasn't even as good as the Wonder Years. It tried to be a little bit like that. I could see it. They were trying to do a little wonder. I, I don't know. It might work. It might not work. But um, if you liked it, let me know why. Um, if you didn't like it, you know, let me know why. Because uh, ultimately, I didn't like it. All right. Take care.